Guten Abend, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Tobi Tweaks. We are dealing with the good, the bad, and the hidden princesses of Studio Electronics in this visual podcast. Today's topic, the KP553 three-band DIY equalizer. As someone who loves analog gear, I have an even more special place in my heart for the one that comes in parts. Not only is it cheaper, most of the time it is also more true to the original vintage circuit most of today's gear relies on anyway. The 553 EQ actually is, apart from vintage units, to this day only available in DIY form, which makes it very unique. Well, why do I not own it anymore then and uh, why would it be such a big mistake to let it go? Let's see what we can do with this. Sound shaping features are super basic. From the bottom to the top we have bypass, a high pass filter switchable between super smooth 12 or even 6 dB per octave at the frequencies 30 Hz, 70 or if you press both 110 Hz. We have a low shelf at 100 Hz, a mid bell filter at 2.5k and a quite unique high shelf. I do not have the recorded graph but here is a drawn one, it basically looks like this. Lastly, another super soft filter at 12k, 22k or even 28 kilohertz. Again, switchable between 6 and 12 dB per octave. This equalizer presents itself like the standard 3-band you find on a lot of basic mixing desks like the Mackie 1402 VZ that I reviewed in another video. So yes, this is super basic functionality, but realized with circuitry developed by API in the 70s, the company that is verantwortlich for the API 550 equalizer or the 2500 compressor. This module is loaded with the finest components from this era, meaning all discrete circuitry, inductor-based equalization and the all-star famous API output combo, consisting of a massive 2503 output transformer driven by the absolutely classic 2520 op-amp. Mine had LITS versions of the transformer and original 2520s from API. But let's not make this a product video and run a few sounds through it. Thank you. 
not bad. Now, how does this EQ really stack up against a three-band classic? So what do you think? Magic in the details or are simple analog processors like these overhyped? Am I wrong for crying over the loss of these units or should I definitely build these again soon? Decide yourself. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments which gear I should review next. If you liked the last couple minutes with me, feel free to give me that all buttons in on like and subscribe. Until next time, have a good one. Ciao.